hi guys you're welcome back to my channel all right so in this video we're going to be drafting um this lovely peplum blouse okay it's going to be super detailed as usual now let's jump right into the drafting process so i went ahead to draft um a half scale basic bodies block okay and i altered it to an armhole princess that so i have a very detailed video on how to do this and i'll leave the link in the description box it's super easy and simple all right applicable to any size now i have my standard neckline three inches neck width and three inches neck depth for the front now for the back i have three inches neck width and one inch neck depth now um to get your chest line for a sleeveless um style okay you just go ahead and do your bust round divided by six plus one all right now we're not going to do bust round divided by six plus 1.5 if you do 1.5 you're going to end up with a very deep armhole and that's not what we want remember the style is sleeveless all right so that's it now let's move over to the neckline now the neckline we're working with is a boat neckline and the standard way of getting your boat neckline is to go ahead and mark your three by three neckline all right and afterwards you're going to measure what you have from your neck width to your shoulder tip okay so you see where i'm placing my tape from the neck width to my shoulder tip now what i have left there is five inches okay so i'll go ahead and fold my tape into two to get the midpoint all right and the midpoint is 2.5 okay so i'll go ahead and measure what i have now all right so um now for the neck depth um you can make use of your three inches is okay but i want to drop mine just a little so my neck depth for the front is 3.25 okay so in total, um, we have a neck width of 5.5 by a neck depth of 3.25. Okay, then that's it for the front. Now I'll come in with my curve ruler. So you need to pay attention to the placement of the curve. All right, you need to place the curvy side around um, the shoulder. Okay, so here it is. I'll go ahead and connect this. All right, here we have it. Now I will come in with my marker pen and I'll highlight this for better visibility. And that's it. We are done. Now we need to tighten the neckline. All right, so I'll use um, half inch to tighten my neckline. Now this practice is advisable, especially when your neckline is wider than three inches. Okay, so... I'll go ahead and tighten my neckline with my half inch, all right? And I'll also highlight it. So this is now our new shoulder um, slope, okay? And not the previous one, all right? And that's it for the front. Now, if you pay attention around the armhole, you'll see that I did not highlight um, the dart there, okay? That's because we're yet to close the boss dart, all right? So when we close the boss that we will through our dart legs, then we'll highlight it. All right. And that's it for the front. We are done. Now let's move over to the back. So the first thing we're doing is to alter our neck width. Remember in the front, we had a total neck width of 5.25. So I have that mark there. Now from your shoulder, we need to come down by seven inches. So that's the depth of, of your neckline. Okay. So I'll also mark seven inches there again. So just so that I can get a straight line. Now I'll come in with my ruler and I will use um, a broken line to just mark that across. All right. I know it looks faint, but I will still highlight it later. Okay. Now from the center back, I will come in by 2.5 inches. All right. Because we need to slant that side. So from the center back and not from the back tightening, I placed my tape on the center back and I just marked 2.5 inches. So from the waist, on the waistline as well, I'll come in by 1.5 inches. Now the tape was placed on the center back, okay? And not on the back tightening, all right? So we have 2.5 by 1.5. I'll use um, my ruler to connect that, all right? So what we have now is a slant line, okay? Now I'll go ahead and write. You guys know I like to write a lot, okay? So let's proceed with um with our alteration all right now i'll come in with my curve ruler because if you take a look at the style you see that so if you take a look at the back neckline you will see that it has a shape of a slight u okay so i'll use um a slightly curved um line 
just to connect from our 5.2 from our 5.5 on the on the neckline okay um down to our 2.5 that we just slanted now we need to blend this line okay so i'll go ahead and just blend it so that the line can be um even okay so now i'll clean the previous line that we had drawn all right so from the shoulder to our 2.5 slant is not a straight line okay i needed to just point that out so it, it it's a bit um slightly slanted just a little okay so and this is what we have now because we have um blended that side a bit the our measurement has increased from 2.5 to 2.75 so i'll clean our previous um write up and i'll correct that to 2.75 okay so what we have now is 2.75 on the chest line with 1.5 on the waistline okay now i'll come here with my marker pen and i'll highlight this because i'm okay with um the shape all right so i'll go ahead and just i'll highlight all our markings so far then we'll continue All right, and here we have it for the back. Now let's go ahead and write, okay, all our alterations. So from the waistline, we came in by 1.5 inches. So I'll go ahead and write that down, okay? Um, now on the seven inches that we came down with, we, we also came in what by 2.75. So our write-ups, they are ready, complete. Now let's tighten the neckline. So as usual, we'll use 0 0.25 inch to tighten the back neckline. So with my straight line, I'll connect that back to the shoulder tip, okay? I'll also highlight it and that will be it for the back, all right? So here we have it, neckline ready and um, our slant lines all ready. Now let's move over to modesty panel, okay? Now, um, I would have loved my modesty panel to be joined together with that, but that area is going to be very bulky. All right, so we're going to have a separate modesty panel which will attach with press button all right so i'll come in with um with a plain pattern paper so that we can mark um trace out our modesty panel now you remember the seven inches that we came down with that is where our loops will start from okay so um the spacing of our loop is going to be one inch all right so i'm just illustrating what our loop will look like when we are done all right so the loop is starting from the seven inches mark now this point we will need to notch it after we are done cutting which will also transfer to our fabric okay now i'll come in with a plain pattern paper and my tracing wheel and we're going to go ahead and trace out our modesty panel okay it's advisable you trace out so that you work with exact figures now i'll go ahead and pin down this pattern all right so i have it pinned now to the new pattern paper now we need to mark um where the modesty panel should start from so from my dart leg i'll go inwards by 0 0.5 inch okay and on our seven inches line i will go inwards from the slant line by just 1.1 inch it's not up to 1.25 all right so i'll connect that with a straight line okay so um you can ask me any question if this part is not clear to you okay but from the dart leg on the waist i went in was by 0 0.5 and on the seven inches mark that we have i went in what okay also by 1.1 inch just so we can get a rectangle um for our modesty panel now i'll go ahead and use my tracing wheel to trace out this um box okay so i'll trace it out and i'll take off the the pattern paper all right so i'm done now i'll take off my pins and i'll bring out our new pattern paper now i don't know if you can see the our traced out um lines okay but i'll go ahead and just highlight them and here we have it now as usual our label okay so here is our chest line and um here's our waistline okay so this is our center back line, which we will cut on fold. All right. And this is the part um, that will be facing the, the side back. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and add my half inch round this pattern. All right. Um, then we'll cut it when it's time. So I'll also go ahead and label. 
Okay, and that and this is it for the modesty panel. It's super easy. We're going to cut it on fold. All right, use our half inch to join it. Now our pattern is ready. We have done all alterations. Okay, we will proceed to cut. But before we cut, you guys know I'll um we'll first separate the front and the back patterns. Okay, so I'll go ahead and separate it and we will start with the front. I don't know why, but I like starting with the front. But before then, before cutting, let's label. So that's my side front and the center front. Okay, likewise, my side back and the center back line. Now let's start our cutting with the front. Okay, so we'll begin. All right, so I'll cut to the boss point and stop. So that we can close the boss that okay now i've closed the boss that over and over again all right so i have a lot of videos where i did this and it's super easy okay so just fold your paper your, your pattern paper then get your tape and tape it down permanently okay which i just did now we need to blend the size because if you take a look you will see that it's no longer the lines are no longer meeting okay so i'll come in with my straight line now i used half inch to tighten the waistline okay so that's why i'm going away from the line so i'll just go ahead and highlight it and this is it we are done with the side is that simple okay now let's go ahead and blend the boss point i know you'll be wondering why i always do this the reason is because i don't like my boss point pointed at all not even a bit at all okay zero points so I like to blend it. All right. Remember, we're going to add sewing allowance. So it will make up for whatever I'm taking out. Now let's true the dart legs. Okay. So just raise your pattern paper along your marked line. It's that easy. Okay. And you place it, rest it on the other dart leg that you have marked there. Now pay attention. You will see that the lines are no longer meeting. Okay. Now this is what will happen if you don't true it and you go ahead and transfer this to your fabric it will never meet and that's one of the disasters that happen okay so i'll go ahead and just blend this side and that's it we are done okay the reason is so that when it's time for me to transfer to fabric and join i will not sweat at any point all right all your pattern all your pieces will be equal and they will meet that's actually the essence okay so enough of the salmons now i'll proceed to finish up my cutting Please, if you've watched to this point, kindly subscribe, like the video, share the video with your friends and loved ones, all right? And leave your comments or your remarks. Even if you don't have a question, drop a remark. Thank you. It was helpful. Just something, all right? Now, I'll go ahead to cut the back, okay? So, um, we'll proceed to cut our back. But before we do that, I will also like to true the back um the dots line there just so that i'm sure that the line is running through okay and like i said um i don't want to sweat at all i don't want that problem that one side is shorter it's not a good one at all okay so that's it i'll proceed to cut out the back all right so this is what we have um our back now you remember that seven inches we came down with okay where i told us that the loop is starting from okay so i just brought back the pattern paper all right so we're going to notch that point because we'll transfer this notching to our fabric okay this is where our loops will start from all right when it's time so we're actually done our pattern set is ready okay now we will just proceed to transfer them to fabric okay and we will cut but we'll be doing that in the next video so that we don't have a very lengthy video okay um thank you guys for watching all right so this is the fabric that we'll be transferring the patterns to in the next video all right our pattern set is ready the next video will transfer and we will cut and sew all right, thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share. Okay, drop your comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.